Morning boys and girls, it's time for our phonics lesson for today. So, just a reminder, we've covered most of our phase five sounds now. There's a few that we've not done yet, but we're going to be looking and comparing a couple more of those sounds today. I know you did some yesterday as well with Mr. Ahmed, so I'm gonna be asking you about them today. But first, we'll go over the sounds that we already know. another practice at it. At home, could you please shout this out for the children in the classroom? Mm. Right. I'm going to show you again. Think carefully. Better. I might just put that one to the back for another practice again. What is going on? That's not fair. That's going to the back as well, guys. We need to turn those brains up to full volume. To stop the shouting out. Did you? <laughs> right, let's have a quick look at these tricky words. Yeah, 
loading. Well done. The word is mouth. Serena. Well done. The word is brown. Mohammed Kassim. Ah, and the work. Well done. The word is found. Uh, Fatima. Adrian. Oh, and the work. Well done. Okay. I think you've learned that pretty well. Smart city. Thank you. Okay, the sounds we are going to be comparing today are, or the sound D we're going to be comparing with two different <coughs> digraph and a trigraph is I. Can you say it? I. 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 Okay, who can tell me what my I digraph is? Sarah. Mm. I asked for my digraph I sound. Uh, Yasin? I and an F. Well done, thank you, Yasin. Who can tell? That's a bit wonky, isn't it? Never mind. Who can tell me what my I trigraph is, Adrian? Well done, yes. So, Sarah, you did give me an I sound, but you needed to listen as to whether I said digraph or trigraph, didn't you? Okay. Who can give me a word which has the I digraph in? I'm going to ask Salahuddin. Oh, okay. We'll do it this way then. Flight. Which I sound do I use to spell flight? Can you spell it for me, Salahuddin? Mm. All right. Well done, Salahuddin. Who can give me another I word? Fatima. Light. Okay, which I sound do I need, Fatima? Can you spell it for me? I well done, Fatima. Let's ask Safra. Have you got an I word for me? Hi. Oh, yes, well done. Now that's a tricky one to spell because it's got a silent letter in that we can't see. So I'm going to spell it over here. T, F, and then we have our I sound. Height. I don't know why it has that F in. It makes it quite a tricky word, doesn't it? But well done, it does use that I sound. Mohammed. Kite. Kite. Ooh. Oh, yes, well done. Now, this is an I sound that we haven't learned yet, but do you know how to spell the word kite, Mohammed? Does anybody, can anybody help Mohammed with how to spell kite? Sarah. Uh, okay, now I'm not going to go into that just yet, but that is a, another I sound that we've not learned yet. So by the time you have learned that I sound, it's called a split digraph, you will know three different I spellings. So well done, uh, Mohammed, but we'll go into that in a few weeks' time. Um, Serena, can you give me... Trigraph. That does have an I sound in, doesn't it? But it's not one of these ones, Serena. Miriam, can you think of a word that has the I sound in? Fly. Fly, yeah. So I'm going to change it to flies. All eyes. All eyes. Well done. Yassine? Pie, can you spell it for me, Yassine? Yep. Yeah. Well done. You, I was just checking to make sure you picked the right I sound. Sarah? Ty. Ty, can you spell it for me? Yep. 
Yeah. Well done. Right, let's just have a quick go at reading these words and then I'm going to rub them off and I'm going to get you guys at home and you guys in the classroom spell some words for me. Ready? Fly, high, high, flight, light, height. Who can remember the tip I gave you if you aren't quite sure which I sound you need? What tip did I give you? Mohammed. Well done. Yep, yeah, so I said. Well done. Quite often, if you're not quite sure which I sound you need, if you try spelling it using both I sounds, try spelling it both ways, usually the right one will stand out to you because you will have seen it before in stories when you're reading it will stand out and one of them will look right and the other one won't quite look right. Yes, Salahuddin. I've got another one. Go on then. File. File, well done. And that would be this I sound. That would be a split diagraph, wouldn't it? Okay, it's going, it's going. It's gone. Okay, can you pick your whiteboards up, boys and girls in the classroom and boys and girls at home? And you need to think carefully which I sound you need for your spelling. Okay, the word I would like you to spell, please, is lies. Lies. <coughs> Whoa, boys and girls, what word were you just writing? The word lies. 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 Is it lies? Fantastic, you've all got that word right. Fantastic. So, who can tell me how to write it? Fatima. Were you writing flies or lies? Lies. Lies. Okay, Slaudin, how do I write lies? Fantastic. So now I'm going to ask you to write another word, but I need to think of one because I've not been teaching you. Let me think of another word that I want you to write. You might have already wrote it because I wasn't listening. Okay, can you all have a go at writing the word tie? Easy. Tie as well, boys and girls at home. Tie. Well done. Okay, let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me see. Oh, some children have got trick. Tie is just I. T I E, tie. Okay, the next word I want you to write is knight. The knight in shining armor. The knight that might rescue a princess. There's something special about that word, knight. Nope, Serena. Fantastic. Well done, Fatty. Remembered. It has a silent letter in that word. Can I give you a clue? You're going to let Mrs. Smith have a go again. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I got a tickle in my throat. You might still be able to hear it. <clears throat> okay. What word were we spelling, Mr. Ahmed? We were spelling the word knight. Knight. But not knight, it's just knight, isn't okay. it? Okay. I'm going to give you a countdown. Three, two, one. Well done. I'm going to ask Sarah, can you spell it for me? Well done. Okay. The next word I would like you to spell, please, is tight. Tight. What's up, Yasin? Get yourself a new one then. Tight. Mm. Well done, Sarah. Oh, just think about, you've got the right eye sounds, so and I just think about which order the letters come in. 
I think we're tricking a few people here. Tight. As in a tight squeeze or as in a pair of tights. I'm going to ask. Oh, yeah. So close, Mohammed. Three, two, one. I'm going to ask Sarah. Can you spell it for me? Tight, so it's the ikka had the trigraph sound that you need, okay? The next word I would like to spell, please, is magpie. The black and white bird, magpie. Well done. Remember, it's one word, so we don't need a finger space. Well done. Three, two, one, I'm gonna ask Serena. Can you spell it for me, please? Okay, well done. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got that right. Good job. Uh, one more word, I think. And I'm going to ask you to spell the word bright. one sound. We're going to ask Mohammed Kassin to spell it for me, please. Yep. Yeah. Which I sound? Yeah. Okay, so you see Miriam, you were just missing your sound, okay? Right. I'm going to ask boys and girls at home and in the classroom, can you rub your board out now, please? I'm going to write our sentence of the day. more than one has the eye digraph in. Um, Yassine. Two. Two? Yeah, but which words are they? Well done. Okay. Let's say our sentence. Let's all become magpies, so you need to put your boards down because you need to have wings. The magpie flies in the dark night. Let's glide nice and smoothly now and say it again. The magpie flies in the dark night. Oh, now our magpie. 
guy's trying to escape from an eagle and they're gonna fly really, really fast. The magpie flies in the dark night. Let's see who else wants to give us a different way to say our sentence. Dylan. Swimming. Oh, swimming, okay, ready? Get your swimming arms out. The magpie flies in the dark night. I was doing the front crawl then. Um, Serena? A caterpillar. a caterpillar. I'm just going to be all wiggly then. The magpie flies in the dark night. <laughs> um, let's ask Mohammed Ahmed. A horse? Well, we're just going to add a few names. Hey. The high high in the dark night. Okay. Right, we're just gonna say it now and rub it out. So take those pictures quickly. Okay, ready everybody? The high high in the dark night. The